We will see. I don't know how to compensate this. Yeah, yeah, that is I'm gonna be completely Uh, so... I think what might have been the worry from Tech Bonus is that Charizard in this game, uh, he's... I don't know how he plays. I guess he's a Pokemon trainer. Or but, uh, in this game he is... Sort of, he's, he's the big body that Tech uses. Oh. Is sort of like he, he's got like big he's got long pokes and he can just cover he, he, his kit is designed to protect him really well right right uh and so oh smart so what ends up happening is um Charizard will just like get a hit and snowball but he also has the tools to box box a little bit because his jab is is huge. Right. And fast. So maybe he was thinking Zelda's the move? Um, or Sheik. Sheik plays exactly like you think she does from Melee. Uh, Zelda, as you can see, has been setting traps yeah, and stuff. This is definitely not what I was expecting from Zelda, but I kind of like it. Yeah, Zelda. Zelda's really fresh in this game. They really... They took her kit and they kept it somewhat loyal. Like, she still has the... Uh, the big explosive damage and the uh, the like sweet spots and such, but she does not. She actually has like an interesting neutral game plan, which yeah. is cool. I, I always felt like the specials that she had, I don't know, they didn't work with each other in a way that made her interesting. Yeah, Din's fire being able to be placed on screen is a uh, is really interesting, and it, it really does. It is good in the Charizard because he's so big, right? That he uh, gets messed up by it. And that recovery is way better than in any other game that I've seen. Because you just get to keep drifting after you teleport, and it, it goes way farther than you think, and it's fast. Oh, and you can also use it on the ground. Is that a combo? Yes, that that's nasty. Combo. Uh, if you use it on the ground, this... What? So that throw is really funny, because it sends it a perfect 45 degree angle. So DIing it is really hard, because if you DI... It has really high knockback. So, and it has a big DI scale, so if you DI it wrong, you can actually just kill yourself. <laughs> uh, which is very unfortunate. The, the honestly, the mid-screen, the way you DI it at mid-screen is you just don't DI it. That's how you survival DI it, which is really weird. Oh. Oh. That was a, a move that's not in other games, but it, he, it's just... It's like Flare Blitz, but again, basically, <laughs> it's Electric-type Flare Blitz. That's sick. Oh yeah, but that forward tilt, you saw him biting, that's right. huge. And it is slightly disjointed. <laughs> so that can just, like, box. That and Jab can just, uh, box out the characters with stubby normals. And obviously, if Charizard hits box, he's just gonna die, so... Right. Now, as you can see, uh, Zelda's actually putting in work right now. Although, they're pretty even. Zelda, yeah, Zelda's a case of the, uh... I don't really know what Chari's preferred character into this matchup is. Because Charizard's big and gets hit by Din's fire constantly. Yeah, that was... So fun, I hit the tail. But Ivysaur is, like... Kinda slow and just like a big button donor kind of character so i i don't know if you want to do the zoning war with zelda with these traps and stuff and yeah the back row just oh in the taunt I, I do feel like playing a, a like a thing another like, playing another zoner into this matchup it would make it easier to actually get that approach because uh, when she sets the like the trap in front of her if you try and just box her out it just doesn't work yeah I think Ivysaur would be able to use the, uh, the projectile to, uh, counter it. And Ivysaur does have a move that isn't in other games. Uh, Ivysaur has Seed Bomb, which is a projectile that has a really high arc and comes down. So that could be used to, like, go over the wall that Zelda's trying to set up. Interesting. What? Uh, but yeah, we're seeing the Ivysaur. 
And yeah, this makes a lot of sense, I think, because of the way that Razor Leaf works. Right. Where it's just kind of a slow moving hitbox. And yeah, as we can see, already switches to Sheik. Yeah, this is the other hard thing. Because I think Sheik has a chain grab on Ivysaur. If I'm not mistaken. Although, maybe not. I actually am so used to melee Sheik that, oh my gosh. Seed Bomb is good because it stuns if it hits a grounded uh, person. And as you saw, it just broke that throw. Yeah. Uh, I guess I should talk. Ivysaur has a unique thing if you're not familiar. Uh, where its neutral B is a heal move that just like charges and once it's fully charged it becomes solar beam which is a giant hitbox that has extremely high knockback and damage that oh, shoots yeah. at I, a 45 degree angle yeah i've seen clips about that it's crazy it doesn't it like go as far as it's being uh yeah basically i think it does have a range but it is in most situations it it is just if the hitbox is in the direction you are you're gonna get hit by it right That's the mic box. A lot of pauses today. That's just how it goes sometimes. Pick the stars. Quite a lot of shield damage. Oh yeah. yeah I've sort of got the Pokes for days. It's down. really hard to like, counter pick into this matchup just because, uh, well, it's a zoner and then a rushdown character. One of, like, if you're gonna try to outzone Zelda, it's gonna switch. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of the strength. They actually made it so Zelda and Sheik are both, like, valid characters. So now the character actually gets to have the advantage of being two people in one. Right. Instead but yeah. Just have a down that doesn't exist. Yeah. That was the, uh, the heal move. Yeah. And as you see, it's just sitting there and it's oh, wow. charging. And you can just do it. You can hold it for as long as you want. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's fair enough. That's that's the Zelda. Uh, you got caught by Din's fire. Now you're going to die. It seems like Chari's having a hard time uh, trying to like get significant hits against Sheik because uh, run up and shield. I'm wondering how this matchup would be if it was Pokemon Trainer. I, I feel like they'll just keep switching between like a Charizard and Ivysaur and then trying to like counter pick each other mid match over and over. Yeah, that would be very interesting. Uh, that is the downside of making them all separate characters, we don't get that dynamic anymore, but I think uh, Charizard and Ivysaur both appreciate having a real downbeat. Most definitely. Squirtle was fine already. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is this is a lot uh, more brutal than the last game. I'm not sure... I just feel like staying Charizard might have been the move. Game's not over. Ivysaur, Ivysaur's got big up smash. And Solar Beam. Oh my! Wow. Oh man, that DI. Is... Oh. Well, yeah, that's the that's the power of playing uh, two characters in one. You know, yeah, can't get counterfeit. <laughs>